Why the wait for something so brilliant? Here's the one problem with the Lexus LC500. It's not a full on LFA successor. Although we must immediately point out the LC500's naturally aspirated 5.0 liter V8 with 471 horsepower is an absolute gem and part of a dying breed. The LFA, to compare, came powered by an also naturally aspirated engine, a 4.8 liter V10 with 552 horsepower. While there have been rumors and supposed spy shots of a more powerful LC, possible an F model, Lexus has yet to confirm such a vehicle will even exist. However, car and driver's latest issue offers additional details regarding the Grand Tourer's future. Perhaps most interestingly is that CND has it marked as a 2022 model, obviously meaning it's still quite some time off. As we previously suspected, Lexus will swap out the NAV8 for a twin turbocharged 4. Zero liter V8 that'll be good for over 600 horsepower. Now that's more like it. The 10 speed automatic transmission is also said to return, driving power to the rear wheels. There could also be an improved torque vectoring differential working together with the Vehicle Dynamics Integrated Management System for the specific purpose of improving track performance and handling. The exterior is also said to receive a bit of a rework, thanks to more aggressive front and rear fascias. Hood and fender ventilation to improve airflow is also expected, not to mention a necessity. Because the current LC500 is fairly heavy, weighing in at around 4,400 pounds, engineers are doing what they can all Jenny Craig style. Additional use of carbon fiber and other lightweight components will be used in liberal amounts wherever possible. This all sounds brilliant, especially since Lexus is targeting the likes of the Acura NSX, Jaguar F-Type SVR and Porsche 911. But why is this not happening until 2022? What's the hold up? The most likely answer is that it's simply not a priority for Lexus at the moment. Thank you.